The Angus Sire Benchmarking Program, or ASBP, has shown that there is great potential to achieve genetic improvement in Angus breeding programs by utilising selection tools such as estimated breeding values and selection indexes. A recent project undertaken by Angus Australia assessed the progeny performance of sires in cohorts 1, 2 and 3 of the ASBP to analyse how well the ABVs of the sires in the program align with the actual performance of their progeny. Sires were ranked from highest to lowest for each trait based on their ABVs when the sires entered the ASBP. And the average ABV of the highest 10 and lowest 10 ABV sires were used to calculate the predicted difference in performance between the progeny sired by bulls in each of the two groups. The predicted difference was then compared to the actual difference in progeny performance observed within the ASBP. To answer the question, do the ABVs of bulls entered in the ASBP reliably reflect the actual difference in their progeny performance? When assessing birth weight, the birth weight ABVs of the size when entered in the ASBP predicted that there would be a 1.7 kilogram difference between the birth weights of the progeny of the highest and lowest 10 birth weight ABV size. After collecting the data, the actual difference in birth weight that was observed was 1.9 kilograms. This demonstrated that the EBVs were accurately predicting the breeding value of size for birth weight. In a similar fashion, the predicted difference in gestation length between the gestation length of the progeny of the 10 highest and lowest gestation length EBV size was 2.5 days. After compiling the calving records, the actual difference in gestation length was 2.6 days. For growth traits, the predicted difference between the average EBV of the highest and lowest 10 ABV size in each of cohorts 1, 2 and 3 for 200, 400 and 600 day weight ABVs equated to 7.6, 12.6 and 18.3 kilograms respectively. When weighed, the actual difference observed was 5.2, 10.2 and 17.0 kilograms. For carcass composition traits, the difference between the average ABV of the highest and lowest 10 ABV size for carcass weight, eye muscle area, rib fat, rump fat and intramuscular fat predicted a difference in average progeny performance of 11 kg dressed carcass weight, 2.8 cm squared eye muscle area, 1.25 mm rib fat depth, 1.5 mm rump fat depth and 1% intramuscular fat. When the steer progeny were slaughtered and abattoir carcass measurements collected, the actual difference in the carcass performance of progeny was found to be 18 kg dressed carcass weight, 2.8 square centimetres eye muscle area, 1.1 millimetres rib fat depth, 1.3 millimetres rump fat depth, and 1.3% intramuscular fat, which closely aligned with the differences predicted by the EBVs. For fertility traits, the EBVs predicted that the heifer progeny of the 10 size with the lowest days to calving EBVs would calve on average 2.1 days earlier than the progeny of the 10 size with the highest days to calving ABVs. When the heifer progeny were calved down at two years of age and their calving records collated, the progeny side by the lowest days to calving ABV size calved on average one day earlier than the progeny side by the highest days to calving ABV size. Finally, for net feed intake feedlot, the progeny of the lowest net feed intake feedlot size were predicted to eat 0.45 kilograms less feed per day for the same weight and rate of weight gain. When the steer progeny were tested for feed intake at the Talimba Research Feedlot using GraceSafe technology, the actual difference between the progeny of the high and low NFI feedlot EUV size was 0.26 kilograms per day. This project has revealed that breed plan estimated breeding values provide an accurate prediction of the breeding values of size in cohorts 1, 2 and 3 of the Angus Sire Benchmarking Program. These results have shown that when selecting animals for use within a breeding program, the use of breed plan ABVs and selection index values, coupled with the significant genetic variation that is present within the Angus breed, provides a considerable opportunity to improve the productivity and profitability of the beef breeding enterprise. ABVs can be used with confidence to help make informed breeding selection decisions 
and the selection decisions made using EBV information will translate to actual performance improvements on farm. Mm -hmm.